Today's news, Oprah sells chicken, a new vegan cookbook, and free stuff just for being vegan. This is the Vegan News. Welcome to the Vegan News, the show where we treat veganism as if it were normal. Our first story is a little odd, but then again, it's Oprah. Yes, on a recent taping of Oprah, the host who recently did a show on animal welfare and the horrors of factory farming, and who blogged for a three-week vegan detox diet, confused many by offering free samples of KFC grilled chicken to her viewers. While the move was indeed confusing, what is more ridiculous was the sit-in protest to follow. No, this sit-in was not protesting Oprah's contradictory move. These protesters were infuriated to learn the Manhattan KFC, who was participating in the giveaway, had run out of chicken carcasses and would no longer honor the coupons. Well, if that story doesn't leave a thick film of greasy carcinogenic chicken grease in your mouth, perhaps what you need is a good vegan recipe. The newest cookbook to come out is uh, the, the, the Best of Vegan Cooking by Priscilla Farrell of Friends of Animals, and is filled with high-quality vegan recipes with a focus on taste and five-star cuisine. Having tried the cauliflower risotto, I can testify for the unique approach of the book to focus on quality recipes as opposed to simply convenient, fast kind of vegan food. Too many vegans end up eating spaghetti and toast for the rest of their lives. Pick up this cookbook and start enjoying your food. The book's 84 recipes can be purchased for $19.95 from friendsofanimals.org, and Priscilla will even sign it for you. If you're too cheap to buy a cookbook, perhaps what you need is some handouts. We're here to help. AbolitionistVegans.org is a non-profit, non-donation site for vegan education. They've teamed up with a few vegan businesses to give you free samples of their products just for talking in the forum, where you can help non-vegans or get help from a vegan to cure what ails you or set you up on the right path. Simply comment on the product you like and show your enthusiasm in the forum. One winner is selected to receive the sample every few days. That's AbolitionistVegans.org. And now to hear from some of our viewers. Each show, we take a few of our voicemails where people call in to rant, complain, rave, or whatever they have to say. If we like what you have to say, we'll put it on the show. Hey, guess who it is? Yeah, it's me, Adam, because it's a new show. Nobody's called in yet, but you can be the first person, or you can be like the fifth person. That's still good. But hey, if you want to call in, do it. 402-253-0401. You can call in. Please don't use F-words. I don't want to put F-words in my show. Because I might if you actually use them and it's a funny thing to do. Well, look, just come on, say your, uh, speak your mind, and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, you can be on the show. It'll be nice. I really didn't script any of this. Maybe I should just get back. All right, see ya. Thanks, everyone, for your thoughts. If you have something to say, call our voicemail at 402-253-0401. But before we go, we're going to do one of our recipes we do each show. And today's recipe is blueberry coconut pancakes. You can find this recipe at theveganews.com. It is based off of a basic recipe for pancakes from Colleen Patrick Goudreau's Joy of Vegan Baking. If you are a vegan or if you're even just considering going vegan, having healthy and delicious vegan meals can make the transition easier or just make being a vegan more enjoyable. And that's our show. You can find today's recipe at theveganews.com. You can watch today's show at vegan.fm or you can subscribe to us at iTunes. And I'm Adam Kahanowitz. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.